Customer support. If you've been a driver for any length of time, you've had to deal with Uber and Lyft's customer support. I recently had a really bad experience, which I call Uber's customer support's seven levels of hell for drivers. And stick around at the end of the video, I will share with you if after the seven levels and, and one full week, whether Uber was able to take care of my issue or not. Hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And today I'm just gonna share with you an experience that I recently had, which I'm calling Uber support seven levels of hell for drivers. So uh, a few weeks ago, I gave a guy named Gary a ride from an area called the Presidio to the San Francisco airport. It was about a 40 minute ride. Uh, later in the day, I looked and I, and I could see my numbers weren't quite right. Something was missing. Uh, for some reason, his ride was, was not showing up it was showing up as processing, processing. So let's jump right into the first level. Level number one was a phone call through the app to uh, Uber support. I told the woman that I was missing a ride. It wasn't showing up on my pay. She looked it up. She said, it's uh, here. It's uh, $28.70 and give it a couple hours. It should show up. I'm thinking, okay, level two, the money didn't show up. So this time I sent a message uh, through the app. And as you can see here, I included a, a screenshot to show what I was showing, what I was seeing, which was in fact that it was processing and that I was not getting paid for it. And this is what I got back. Let's take a look at Uber's first response. Uber said, uh, sorry to hear about that. And look at the part I highlighted. According to your information, we would like to inform you that we found the trip and noticed that you have been paid correctly for the trip. Well, that really pissed me off because I know I wasn't paid. So sometimes you'll send a message to support and what comes back seems like they're speaking in gibberish or they, they just didn't look at the message. Or maybe there are bots that are responding. I don't know, but Clearly I wasn't paid, and they were telling me I was paid. Let's go to the third level of hell. Level number three, I sent another message in, and I explained that it had now been 48 hours and nothing was showing up. And here's how they responded to this one. So what you can see here is again, they understand my disappointment, and I've confirmed that you received the full fare for this trip. Oh my God. What is going on here? It's like I'm in the twilight zone. Let's go to the fourth level of hell. So for the fourth level, I took a screenshot from my dashboard and I showed them that, in fact, nothing was showing up for that trip. I had not gotten paid. All right, I made it really, really clear. Let's go to level five. So in level five, I said, it's been 48 hours again and uh, I'm still waiting. You said 48 hours, Where show me, show me the money, right? And then what I got in response was this. So as you can see here, they, they, they broke out uh, you know, the fare. So they told me how much I was gonna get paid. And even though, even though it had been all, all, almost 72 hours at this point, they still said it's gonna be 48 hours. So again, somebody doesn't seem to be paying attention that I didn't get paid, I'm a driver, I work for you, and all I'm asking for you to do is pay me for this ride. Level six was like my brain exploding, going Pah. So I actually got on the phone and I called, and I don't know who this woman was that I was talking to, but she was not paying attention. She couldn't seem to look up my dashboard. She couldn't do anything but other than say, can you hold on for a few minutes? So out of a 20 minute conversation, I was about on hold for 15 minutes. And finally I realized I had the wrong person and I wasn't gonna get any satisfaction. So I kindly said goodbye. And boy, at this point, my frustration level was through the roof. So at this point I decided, look, I'm just gonna wait a few days. I'm gonna make it a whole week since I didn't get paid. Then I'm gonna contact them. They can't say it's been 48 hours or can't say 72 hours. They have to take me seriously. So this time, I sent again the dashboard image so that they could see I did not get paid. And I said it's been a whole week. 
and oh my god, look what happened. There was a back door in level seven. And what happened was I got this message that said, I've added your full fare to your account as a miscellaneous payment due to processing error, blah, blah, blah. And beautiful Tirtha B uh, took care of me. So then I went, of course, and I had to check and see, was it in fact in my, uh, in my app? And here's what I saw is, uh, yes, there it was, $28 under other promotions. And as I said in the article, boom shakalaka. So, wow, what a frustration. In summary, what do we learn here? One, be very patient. Two, you don't need to contact them every single day. Uh, make a first contact, wait a few days, make a second contact, wait a week, make another contact. I didn't need to keep going back and going back and going back. It was after a week of time that had passed that they actually could see I had not gotten paid. And number three lesson is do not expect Uber to take care of you. Uh, you know, if I hadn't followed up on that, on that seventh level after a week, I wouldn't have gotten paid that. That's $28.70. I wonder how many times drivers don't follow up and they lose a little bit of money. So be proactive and take care of your own business because it's your business, not Uber's, it's yours. Everybody, this is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed to this wonderful YouTube channel where you can get two to three videos every single week with great content, make you a better driver, make you a more efficient and effective driver, you can make more money in less time, learn everything you can about your business, then subscribe. Join us, come join our team. Go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.